the question today is on compound interest and it reads the cash price of a cooker is 27,500. The customer opts to buy the cooker on higher purchase terms by paying a deposit of 17,250. Determine the monthly rate of compound interest charged on the balance if the customer is required to repay by six equal monthly installments of 2,100 shillings each. So the first thing we are going to do is to get the balance. Remember, we are required to get the rate of interest charged on the balance. So the customer opts to buy the cooker on higher purchase terms. Instead of paying 27,500, he deposits 17,250. So that means that the balance is given by 27,500 minus what has already been deposited, 17,250. And that is 10,250 shillings. So with that, we want to determine the monthly rate of compound interest charge on the balance. So this balance here becomes our principal. We are going to use the compound interest formula which is given us amount is equal to the principal into 1 plus rate over 100 raised to n. So we already know that the principal P is 10,250 but the amount here is accrued in six equal monthly installments. So we're going to have the amount equivalent to the total installments. And that is given by amount for each installment, which is 2,100 times the six installments. So that in total is 12,000. 600. Remember, we are to do our substitution in the compound interest formula, so we need also to know n. So n we know is 6. So I think we are set to do our substitution here so that we are able to get the value of r, which is the rate. We are required to get the monthly rate of compound interest charged on the balance. So Amount is 12,600 and that equate to the principal which is 10,250 into 1 plus the rate over 100 raised to power 6. So here we can divide both sides by 10,250 and we are going to get on the left hand side 1.229268. And on the right hand side, we still have 1 plus r over 100 raised to power 6. So, what we're going to do is to find the sixth root, the both sides. So, the sixth root on the left hand side, 9268. And on the other side, we have that 1 plus r over 100 raised to power 6. So on the left hand side we have 1.0350182 and on the right hand side we have 1 plus r over 100. So taking 1 to the left hand side we are going to have 0 0.035 Zero zero one eight two is equal to so we have one point zero three five zero zero one eight two subtracting one when it crosses and on the right hand side we have r over one hundred so multiplying both sides by one hundred we realize that the rate is equal to three point five percent so that is it for this question. 
thank you for watching see you in the next video